tis the season. My house smells like gingerbread. Uh, I've heard Carol of the Bells like 15 times in the last two days, which can only mean one thing. It is December. It is holiday season. It is festivities and good food and friends and family and all that awesome stuff. But it is also holiday parties. So my look of the month is inspired by all those holiday parties where you have to get glitzy and glamorous and you know wear a much darker and more adventurous look than you normally would to the office because you gotta be fancy, you gotta be shiny, you gotta be sparkly. It's the holidays. So stick with me. We're gonna create this awesome look of the month where we focus on a dark, shimmery eye, an awesome highlight, and of course a blinging out three scarf wrap madness so that you can feel and look and hopefully channel your vibes and get ready with me and enjoy your holiday festivities. So without further ado, let's get festive. All right, so let's get started with our eyes. Uh, we're going a little bit more bold, a little bit fancy, a little bit holiday because it's December and we're going to have a little bit of fun. So the palette I'm using for my eyes today is the uh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, you guys have probably heard a lot of hype about this palette, uh, especially if you've been on the beauty YouTube community um, or if you're a subscriber of Jacqueline's. I actually really love this palette. Uh, I have two Morphe palettes. I have this one in the 350. I'm not going to go into a huge thing. This is not a review. This is my look of the month and we're just getting ready together, but it's a solid investment. It's a good palette and I use it a lot and it's inexpensive. So we're going to use it to create the look of the day. Now, of course, they don't have the friggin I hate that the one thing about it I hate is they don't write down the shade, so I can't like say what I'm using, but that's okay. We're just uh, we're just getting ready today. We're just gonna give it a go. So I'm gonna be dipping into this palette because it's on like my little thing, and then I'll just kind of do it here. So it is already December, you guys. How crazy is that? The uh, December. Our November went by pretty quick, but it was a pretty good November for me. It was really calm, and I mean, there was a lot of stuff happening at work, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't crazy, which is nice. Got tons of work done, but yeah, it's uh, full on winter now. Here, I was gonna take you guys outside, but it's just too chilly today. It's quite blistery, and bleh. so maybe in January I'll try to take you guys outside just so you can see. Like I said, it's it's pretty here. It's just wintry. But yeah, no, November's been good. Uh, I've been trying to sort of keep up with my family and our internet hasn't been the best for the past couple of weeks because we just don't have very reliable internet. It's one of the sort of pitfalls of living in the north. So our internet kind of sucks. So I've been trying to do my best to keep, you know, get caught up with family and friends prior to going home because, uh, you know, it's only two weeks now until my husband and I go home for the holidays, which is super exciting. I know I mentioned in my October video that uh, we were having a hard time getting tickets to get home just because of how expensive they were, but we did, and so in two weeks we're going home for Christmas, which is great, because I haven't seen any of my family since we got married in June. That's the last time we were back. Uh, we've been lucky, though, because of the the wedding happening You know, this year. I was home a ton just planning and getting ready, but sort of after this Christmas, we're not entirely sure when we're going to be home next. We're sort of planning on doing uh, a honeymoon in the spring and so it's it's a bit sort of like bittersweet for me because I'm excited to go home but I'm also kind of sad because now I don't know when the next time is that we'll be back and you know like it, moving out here was uh, so obviously you guys know I'm a curator so I work well director and curator second but so I, I moved out to sort of northwest area of British Columbia uh, well, in 2016 uh, for this job and all my family lives in sort of central Canada in Ontario and you know my husband's family too so for us moving here meant distance and missing our family and missing our relatives and um, you know missing birthdays and all that kind of stuff and it, it you know it's important but sometimes man it sucks so that's why I'm kind of really excited to go home for Christmas because obviously I get to see my family but also sometimes the separation's hard and you know I when I thought that maybe we wouldn't get to go home for Christmas I was feeling really bummed because of course like you know it 
not being there with social media and stuff, you can at least like video in and you can sort of feel like you're a part of the conversation, but it's not the same thing. And like you see everyone's pictures on the morning of and yeah, it just sucks. So I'm glad I don't have to do that, but I'm not looking forward to traveling in the winter. That's the one second thing about going home in December. It means that like you're going to have a crazy amount of stress and the airports are super busy and you know, you've got the weather to contend with. Uh, last year, our our flight was cancelled, um, we had an evening flight and it was cancelled because there was this like horrible crosswind that stopped our, our inbound plane from landing so we couldn't get on it and get out of here. Um, so that really sucked. Luckily though, we were flying with WestJet. WestJet's really great. If you ever fly in Canada and you have a choice between WestJet and Air Canada and WestJet's a little bit more money, pay them more money because they actually take care of you, I find. WestJet actually takes care of you, whereas Air Canada can kind of give two craps about you. And you know, it sucks, but it's true. <laughs> they sort of sort of really don't give a crap about you and, and you know your situation. But WestJet was great, even though our flight was cancelled, they basically made a new flight the next day for all the people whose flight was cancelled the night before and we were able to get home only just 24 hours later than we were planning. So that was incredible. That was last year. Um, so I'm hoping this year that the... I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry you guys. It's uh, sort of a late afternoon and I'm trying to film and the light's not that great and I feel a little rambly today. So I'm sorry if you guys are like, oh my god, Stephanie, stop talking. No one cares about your flights. <laughs> But uh, it was good, it was good. It was a bumpy ride last year though, oh my goodness. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty good flyer, doesn't make me nervous, I don't mind flying. But even I was a little bit like, holy, this is a bumpy ride, this is a bumpy flight. Uh, my husband was not a fan, he doesn't really like flying, so. Uh, you know, not the best. But, and we take our dog with us, so we have a little dog. I think I've had her in a look of the month video before. Uh, her name's Elizabeth. She's a half pug, half terrier mutt dog that we got from the pound. Uh, she's, well, she'll be three in a this coming April in 2018. Which, ugh, 2018, like, wasn't 2008 two years ago? How is it almost like, how are we looking at 2020 as like closer to us than 2010? Like, sometimes I'm just like, Hey, moral, can we slow down a bit? So yeah, that's craziness, absolute craziness. But uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, so we have our, our little uh, dog, and so she's just almost too big to fly, but she can just fit under the seat. So I'd imagine it's very much like flying with a you know baby that like gets upset and you know doesn't know what's going on and doesn't like what's happening, but you can't really explain to them what's going on and yeah I mean obviously it's not the same as a baby anyone who says a dog's the same as a baby like clearly I know that they are two different things but uh flying with her is stressful because <laughs> of course you know it's up and down it's a lot for her uh it's for us two flights to get home so a flight down to Vancouver and then a flight to Toronto so it's a lot of flying it's expensive it's but it's all worth it. It's all worth it because we get to see our family and that is truly the best part for me of Christmas and the holidays is getting getting that chance and we get to go home for two weeks which is great except for that I have to leave my cats alone for two weeks but we have an awesome girl who lives in our community that we trust to uh, take care of them so that is fantastic. Um, yeah and, and so it sucks because I hate leaving my cats for two weeks but can't bring my cats. Bringing my dog is stressful, but I don't want to leave her behind. <laughs> it's one of those things when you like, my pets are my children. So for me, I'm, I'm obviously like spending a lot of time with them and making sure that they're okay. And yeah, the cats aren't super excited to be left, but it's sort of, I mean, it is what it is, right? We got to do what we got to do. And yeah. Ugh. So I hope you guys had a good November. Definitely let me know how it went. If you're American, I think you guys had your Thanksgiving. So hopefully you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, as a Canadian, I love uh, American Thanksgiving because we get the same Black Friday sales. I mean, not as good of the sales as you guys, but like we get some really good ones in November, some really great holiday sales because of the American retailing pricing, which is great. I, uh, I did a huge 
order at Sephora. I got a crazy VIB haul, which I might do uh, a video on. Um, or maybe, no, I think I did. Did I? I don't remember. But <laughs> there will be some sort of VIB haul video because uh, I know that everyone sort of loves those. They're pretty fun. They're pretty popular. Um, VIB hauls are great because only once a year, once or twice a year, Sephora does like 20% off of everything. So even things that like would not normally go on sale. So that's when I stock up on expensive staples that like aren't on sale, like my beauty blender, um, my really expensive primer and stuff like that. So I uh, stock up on all that great stuff and that's always fun. So I got lots of that. Um, yeah, just present buying for me. I sort of unfortunately have to buy like right before because I can't fly home with all of our presents. So my uh, husband and I just sort of purchase them <laughs> when we get back to Ontario. So it's always a last minute dash for me, but that's okay. Though I always feel when I'm going to the stores on like the 20th of December that like I'm just being judged, <laughs> being judged for like my inability to plan ahead. And it's like, I can plan ahead, I can plan ahead so well, but I can't plan ahead when I can't fly back with them. But still to figure out how to get my wedding dress and wedding cake home too, because we were trying to uh, get our wedding cake home so that we can have it on our anniversary. But it's very difficult to ship a wedding cake overnight <laughs> from like one end of the country to the other, because Canada is really big. Um, we, we live in a very large country and it's very difficult to do that. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that because I really want to have my my cake on my anniversary. That would be that would be nice to be able to have that. We have this like awesome orange chocolate cake that my cousin made for us, uh, Alana, who I think watches my videos. So thanks, Alana. The uh, cake was amazing. Everyone loved it. It was so good. That's why I really want my like top layer, not just for the tradition, but so I can eat my freaking cake. It'll be so good. Uh, oh, it doesn't look as dark in the camera, but it's looking pretty dark in my mirror. Um, that's always the thing. I'm, I'm really hoping to get some lights for you guys. Right now I kind of have to rely on natural light and then in the editing I fix the white balance, which really helps brighten up the footage. But I'm really hoping to get, um, you know, some actual sort of lights for you guys so that I can do makeup tutorials. So I'm hoping to do that when I get back from Christmas. That's my sort of, that's my goal. So it is, so it is. So I hope you guys are going to have a good holiday. Um, let me know if you're doing anything special. Obviously, uh, if you're celebrating Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, um, you know, Christmas, any of the large variety of things you could celebrate this time of year because of course uh, wrapping is a multi-faith experience and so I think I've probably got people of all different faiths I hope subscribe to my my channel so let me know you guys how your your Christmas prep slash Hanukkah prep slash Kwanzaa prep slash pagan Yule solstice prep is going uh, because I am definitely looking forward to hearing about that um, I know you guys probably are going to make some great food. I think that's like one of my favorite things about Christmas for me is that I get all this like amazing food, uh, you know, from my mom who's a really good cook and my dad and we have some traditional Croatian food every morning, Christmas morning, and I love it. Uh, so my dad was born in Croatia and immigrated over when he was a child. Um, my data, my baka came over. Uh, my baka passed away when I was young, but my data's still here, and he has this lovely lady named Rena in his life, Rita, who uh, is basically my my baka, my grandma. And uh, so my dad, always growing up, we always had like really delicious, really amazing Croatian food that is just so good. Uh, so on Christmas mornings, we have something called zislaka, which is this like sour cream and bacon and dumpling dish that is just so it's horrible for you like if you're on a diet you cannot have it but it's so good so I I can make a pretty decent one I like to you know laugh with my mom and say that my Zitlika dumplings are better than hers but she makes better sauce so I guess all's well that ends well all's fair right all's fair in the competition of of who's the best Who's the best Sitsuka maker? <laughs> so 
So as you guys can see, I'm building up a really dramatic and purple and fierce smoky eye because this is holiday. This is holiday looks. This is us being fun and going crazy and being bright and with it and happy uh, and full of holiday cheer and all things holiday. So we are, um, like I said, this, uh, one of the things I love about this, the Jaclyn palette is it is a wonderful palette for just sort of like every look you can contrive, like contrive, every look you can think of. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, you know, it, it has some great darks and some mattes and some shimmers and it just, it just really, really lovely, really beautiful shades. And uh, one of my absolute faves. The dark went up higher than I wanted it to. It's okay. We will fade it out. Aha! And so you guys can see the only thing I will say is that there's quite a bit of fallout from these, sh these shades. But that's okay. Uh, because that's why I do my eyeshadow first. Because I can just go in and fix that. Because you can see. So I'll scoot you guys in when I'm almost done. I'm kind of getting there. I just have to fix the dark that just was like, no, I'm gonna go up super high, even though you don't want me to. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes your makeup doesn't listen, and that's okay. We accept that as, as something that happens. <laughs> something that happens in the makeup world. Sometimes your makeup just doesn't listen. Oh, all right, good you guys closer, come in and see. So you guys can see we've got this really pretty Purpley smoky eye and tones follow, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna go do my foundation and my eyeliner and my brows and all that great stuff off camera because we're gonna do some contour today. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit and I will be right back. And we're back. So all I did was my foundation. I haven't set anything except for my under eyes. I did my eyebrows and my eyelashes and I finished up with my eye look. I wasn't, it wasn't shimmery enough for me, so I went into my favorite Kat Von D Saints and Sinner palette and added a topper of some shimmer, uh, which I love. So I'm really digging this, you guys. This purple, smoky eye. <laughs> We're feeling fancy for the holidays. All right. So I didn't set anything because I'm going to use a cream contour today. Uh, I don't use cream contour all the time. This is not an everyday look. This would be for something fancy. So I'm going to toss this on and then we're going to blend it and it's going to be great. All right. So yeah, definitely let me know you guys what you're doing for the holidays. I always love to know. Uh, I'm looking for a good bread recipe. So if you guys have an awesome bread recipe and you want to share it, please, please feel free to share it. Uh, I'm always hunting for new recipes that I can use. Um, especially for like, you know, yummy holiday loaf or like a, a fancy dessert loaf or something like that, some sort of holiday finery, fanciness, what have you. I'm always looking for new recipes, so if you have one, link it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Let me know what you guys are doing, and if you have anything special planned, like me, for traveling, because I'm sure you understand the pain of traveling over the holidays, it just sucks, right? Like the airport's always crazy, everyone's always high stress. Like, I love the holidays, but I feel like they bring out the worst in everybody sometimes. <laughs> and the best, for sure. Try not to be pessimistic. Sometimes it's hard with the world around us to not be pessimistic, but try to be an optimistic person. Um, you know, appreciate that I live in Canada and all that great stuff. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm like, I feel like I'm running out of things to talk about this time, you guys, because I'm just like so obsessed with how my eyes came out. Like I'm really happy with them. I'm kind of sad that I'm just sitting at home today. Like I'm just sort of filming this for you guys and then I'm probably gonna go game. Uh, and that'll be, so I will look really fancy for my playing of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know, um, obviously I'm a geek, I'm a huge geek. We've, we've discussed this before, but I also, really like video gaming. Um, started ever since I was a kid, got my first Super Nintendo, played Mario, that whole chestnut, that old good times. And uh, I've been obsessed with it ever since. And when I first moved out, I got a game console and 
never looked back, and my husband's a gamer too, so it's something we actually both enjoy. That's why we had to have two living rooms, because if not, we'd have to be sharing our gaming, and that would just, that would not go well. We don't, <laughs> no gamer wants to share, right? All right, contour is blended. Now we're gonna set. Oh, that is not blended. See, this is why, guys, it's important to do your makeup in natural light because that looked blended for a second, and then I look back at it and I'm like, oh god, I have like a line of contour on my nose. <laughs> That's not good. Well, I did say it was just going out or sitting on my couch, right? I guess it wouldn't matter if I was all contoury on my couch. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I, uh, my family does Secret Santa every year, so we just sort of buy for one person in the family. So I'm excited for the challenge of getting Christmas presents last minute for family. It's always fun. Um, though, I did order online one particular present for my husband's family because my uh, Secret Santa was so gracious to give me a list of things that they desired. So it was nice and easy. I love that, right? Like, sometimes I feel like my husband and I do that, and sometimes we were like, Oh, you're not romantic. You guys are never romantic with each other. Like, you always tell him when to get you, and he always tells you what to get him, and all that stuff. But I'm always like, yeah, so what? We get exactly what we want. Like, I get what I want, he gets what he wants for the holidays, and it's never a horrible disappointment. <laughs> you know, like, I'd rather tell him and have him tell me and get either what I want or make sure I'm getting him what he wants and you know go from there rather than opposite and buy something that I think he wants especially because he often needs like tools and stuff and I'm like I don't know hide or hair what to buy when it comes to tools so I'd rather him tell me so I buy the right tools the right specifications and all that great stuff than buying something that he like uses twice and then can't use God, I love bronzer, you guys. I'm so pale. That without contour and bronzer, I would probably just look like the palest of the pale of the pale of human beings. <laughs> just be like insanely pale. So I, I realize I do this on an angle and it's because I'm sort of facing my window. Let me know, you guys, if this doesn't work. Like I said, I'm really trying to get a light in so that I don't have to like half window, half camera. I think if I get a sort of a light, this will be a lot easier for me and then I can do sort of tutorials more uh, makeup tutorials rather than just kind of you know getting ready on camera with you guys I did that really fast too normally my contour doesn't blend that well but it's because I'm wearing my really good primer today my expensive primer which I will describe bro it's the Yves Saint Laurent like blurry clap primer or something it's it's expensive but it's the only expensive primer that I've actually ever felt was worth it. Got some blush. Right. So we're going to highlight today. And normally I would do a really subtle highlight, but I'm really feeling, I want to sparkle. I want to sparkle today. So I'm going to use this highlight, which is called Now's the Time, which is sort of like a bronzy gold highlight. You know what? No, no. I'm going to grab a different highlighter. I'll be right back because this is a really cool toned look and I want a cool toned highlighter. So be back in a flash. We're back. So I actually went and grabbed a better highlighter. Also, I realized that my nails with their mint green pastelliness are not gonna jive with the rest of this holiday sparkly look, but I really wanted to wear this uh, nail polish and I put it on before I realized I was gonna film and then I was like, oh, I should've worn like a dark red or something, but I acknowledge that these are spring nails, I know. Uh, so I just grabbed my Tarte, oh, it's called Make Believe in Yourself. This was like their festival makeup Oh, I love the smell of Tarte Shadows. Uh, so there's a highlighter in here that I don't even know what it's called because it doesn't have a thing. Anyway, it's like a shimmery pearlescent pink purple highlighter. So it's going to go a little bit better with my shiny purple eyes and the wrap I have in mind. And we're going intense today. We're going intense. I'm just going to be like, yeah. I'm going to be a sparkly shiny fairy unicorn at the end of this one. So I'm going to put it on first with a brush just to kind of like a sweep. I love highlighter you guys. I'm so obsessed with highlighter because I love glowing but after my foundation has covered all my imperfections. <laughs> so only half glowing. Controlled glowing. Controlled glowing. That's what I enjoy. Alright, I'm gonna go with my 
finger now. I'm going to intensify that highlight on the top of my cheekbone. Oh, oh, can you guys see that? I hope you can. I'll zoom you in. But it's just this like amazing glitzy highlighter. So pretty. I hope you guys can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see that you can see that. Scoot you in. So you can see. It's crazy. Crazy highlighty, and now my eyelids, super shimmery. Oh, generally I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So it's always a risk for me. It's always a risk for me doing this on camera because I'm always like worried it's gonna turn out to complete crap. And then I'm like halfway through this video talking to you guys, filming it, and I've gotta go like take it all off. Especially like after I've done my eyes and stuff, I have to take off all my makeup, it just sucks. So I'm gonna toss on my lipstick, which is E. Kat Von, or not Kat Von D, uh, Katie, Katie Perry's matte lipstick. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge Katie Perry fan, but this is a really good demi matte lipstick. And this is one of my like everyday lipsticks. I wear this one all the time. And I'm going to wear it today. Because this eye look is super intense. So I don't want to wear like super intense lipstick. It's just too much. It's not Halloween. Like the only time of the year. So you notice this look is more cool toned uh, and I did that because the last couple looks I did were very warm toned and I know for my cool toned ladies it's nice to see some cool toned makeup and I'm going to do some cool toned scarves and all that so try to balance that a little bit uh, but you could totally do this with warm tones too like if you did like a, a red or a dark brown smoky eye like a warm sort of burnt umber you could totally mix this up if cool tones aren't your thing. So I'm going to go get shapered and bring my scarves back and we're going to wrap and then we'll be done. And this look of the month is coming together super quick considering how many steps I had in mind for it. All right, so we are lipsticked, we are dark smoky eyed, we are shapered. Just wearing the ultimate shaper from Rapunzel today. Let's uh, let's wrap up. So I did say right that today was going to be go big or go home. So I have not one, not two, but three scarves to wrap today. And you'll notice that they're all cool toned and we're rocking some black and whites. And this top I realize is black and white, so it's gonna be a lot of black and white together, but that's because I was going to wear like this red velvet top with this uh, video and it is in the wash, so I could not. So instead we're gonna do it this way. <laughs> we're gonna just be all of the monochromatic black and white except for our makeup. All right, so like I said, I don't often, like on the day to day, do multiple scarf wraps like this just because, you know, I'm sure you ladies who wrap a lot know it's a lot of weight and it can get a bit much and all that great stuff, but uh, because this is the holiday, because this is us being fancy, um, you know, we're going to go big or go home as they say and we're going to uh, wrap this up as I stick this in my armpit, but yeah. Um, the, uh, I think like last video I was talking to you guys about watching Stranger Things, so I won't give you any spoilers, but oh my god did I enjoy that. Been on a bit of a TV binge this month, I watched like Stranger Things and a few other shows and I've just been kind of having a, a lazy, lazy lackadaisal TV show watching month. I finished a couple books, which is great. I just generally got to do a lot of, you know, me stuff and got to do a lot of work stuff, but yeah, so Stranger Things was awesome. Uh, I, I wonder, are you guys fans? Let me know. I'd like to know if any of you watch the show or if you have Netflix or whatnot, but it's it's just such a good show. Like, I really, 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 really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was mysterious and fun, and I don't know, it felt kind of like a 1980s horror movie, and it, it was sort of Halloween-y at the same time, and ugh, it was just so good. It was so good. Um, if you guys have never watched it, honestly, if you don't have Netflix, <laughs> I recommend a $9 a month subscription just for just for Stranger Things. Like it's so good. It's so good. Um yeah, I just it's so good you guys. Like you're you will love it. You will absolutely unbelievably love it. I guarantee it. It's just one of those one of those incredible shows, you know? 
uh, especially if you love horror and sci-fi. I've gotten a bit rambly because I was like, I practiced this rap before this video because I wanted to make sure I could do it, but I haven't practiced it in a bit and I have this bitty mirror. I just, I was like, don't like getting lost. Because, I mean, no one's perfect, right? Certainly, least of all me. Uh, you know, it takes, it takes a lot of getting used to sometimes with these raps when you do fancy ones and you're not paying attention to what you're doing and you're talking to the camera and getting lost in your thoughts. <laughs> getting lost in my thoughts. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. I am right. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, do I have the tails in the right place? I don't even know. I don't even know right now. Uh, apparently, I need more tea and a bigger mirror. Ugh. I'm really loving this eyeshadow though, you guys. I might actually do this for my work's Christmas party, which is next week. Um, every year I'm on the, the last two years I should say, I guess, because it's only my second one. But I've been on the uh, Christmas committee, rocking the Christmas pâtés, having a good time with my coworkers. And I like organizing and I like planning. And it's funny though, because like, after planning my wedding, I was like, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't want to plan any more parties like ever again like for years can we just can we not plan any parties for years <laughs> it's just I don't know if any of you guys have ever planned a wedding but you know I was like it's not gonna be that hard it's gonna be easy that was that was not true it was not easy it was indeed quite quite difficult fun rewarding but difficult and then in the end of course the uh the weather did not cooperate and we got rained out and we had to do our ceremony inside instead of outside like we planned. Just kind of shows you that, right, like nothing, you you know, like things just don't go to plan in life and that's okay. I think one of the things I've learned the most sort of growing up, as it were, is you got to roll with the punches and I, I really like planning and I like things to be particular and I don't like it when things don't go my way. but. You know, you just gotta roll the punches sometimes, I suppose. Well, certainly true with wedding planning. If you are planning a wedding, heads up, roll with the punches. Because <laughs> it's going to be a long, tiring, rewarding, and ultimately like the funnest, most awesome day of your life, which is true, it was that for sure. But it was also terrifying and, you know, generally, Generally, nothing went to plan. Absolutely nothing. So be aware that that is probably going to happen. <laughs> nothing will probably go to, to go to your plan, but that's okay, right? We live, we learn. Yada yada yada. All right. I'm sorry. I've I've learned I'm not great at like the chatty get ready with me when I'm trying to do my rap because this one in particular, I sort of have to really think about what I'm doing, and if I'm not thinking, then I'm gonna I'm gonna frick it up. There we go. All right. So I totally didn't like tell you guys at all what I was doing with this because this isn't a tutorial. But if you really like this wrap, let me know and I will. Uh, I will do a tutorial. Focus. There. <laughs> I will do a tutorial because I've really been digging it. I did it. Um, I did it a few times to practice it, and I was like, yeah, loops. Doop de doops, tails loops. You guys know how much I love tails and loops. And then of course, like a nice zigzagginess. You could do this with any three scarves. I just wanted to do shiny because today's a shiny day. So now we are shinied. The fringe on the shimmery always just like, woo. And we're ready to go. So if you were going to a holiday party, you're ready. All right, and we're done. And we have created a festive holiday in your face look of the month uh, to go to all of our parties and our celebrations and just feel a little fancy and a little fun and a little special. So I really enjoyed creating this with you. I'm sorry if I rambled like a mad woman. Apparently my brain is not in my skull for filming today. But you know, I'm enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying the longer format. Um, I'm enjoying getting to know you guys better and I hope you're getting to know me a little bit better too. And these are just really becoming some of my favorite videos that I do. So I hope you enjoyed this one if this is your first one. Uh, 
you know, please subscribe because then you can always find out when I'm putting these awesome new videos up every month. And of course, if you enjoyed this, hit like, any comments, like let me, or questions, you know, write them below, I will answer. And just, yeah, I really, uh, I really enjoyed this one, you guys. This was really fun. And, you know, happy, uh, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Solstice, whatever you might celebrate. I hope you have an amazing season with your friends filled with family, uh, friends and family and love, and you know, maybe a few presents, <laughs> but also good food. And if like me, you're traveling, be safe. I hope you all have the best December and I'm really looking forward to letting you guys know how my holidays went and hearing how your holidays went. So thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching uh, today, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this. Happy season, happy celebrations, happy holidays, and I will see you guys back in January. Bye!